Call Clay. Hey, Sharon. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I'm actually home, and I'm sitting in the kitchen window trying to digiscope an orange palm warbler that's coming into the uh, fruit I've got hanging up on the feeder. I'm actually in your neck of the woods. I'm down at the Alamo Inn uh, Bed and Breakfast in Alamo, Texas. Is that really bird related? Oh, that's right. You live in South Texas, so you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. But no, it's this great bird watcher hotel that you can stay in when you're in the Rio Grande Valley. He's got all this portable food that you can take out with you during the day. You can check out a cooler. He has a shop with everything you could possibly need from clothing to boots to books to bird finding guides. It's a really, really cool spot. I'm helping out with some of the inventory in his shop. Hey, I need to get some Oriole footage. Do you want to go digiscoping? Yes, he does. I guess I am. Okay, cool. Text me when you're nearby. Um. Oh, hi, Keith. Hey, Sharon. What you doing? I hear you on the phone. I see you on Facebook. I hired you to do inventory. I, I am doing inventory. Uh, I was just making plans with my buddy Clay for my off hours. And, and, well, as far as Facebook, I mean, I'm really promoting you. Really? Well, yeah, yeah. Me talking about what I'm doing here, that's good exposure. Enough promoting. These vests aren't going to inventory themselves. Vests. Why do birders always have to wear vests? Oh, yeah. Hey, man, thanks for coming with me to Benson today. Like I really need to find an excuse to come down to Benson Rio Grande? Okay. So, Sharon, what the heck are you doing? I am playing with a new app. It's still in beta mode. But um, Princeton University Press is coming out with a Shazam app for bird calls. So you can record bird calls and it will identify it for you. Cool. And it's got about a 90% accuracy rate. And right now it's mostly for backyard birds. So I'm just testing it with the Orioles and the Grackles here. But it's, it's going to work. They're going to add to it after a while. So for all the people who've been like yelling at me that they want a Shazam app, Princeton University Press is working on it. Okay. And I absolutely must get an Oriole shot today. I'm not picky about what type of Oriole, but I need it for an article. Oriole you mean like one of these guys? Yes, like one of those guys, but I need it alive and not on your shirt. Uh, so I need that for an article I'm working on. Um, so that bird takes priority over any others today. Okay, cool. Well, there's lots of Orioles here, a couple different species. We should be able to get... Ooh, check that out. Dude, that's not an Oriole! Yeah, but it's pretty. <sighs> oh, okay, Oriole. Ariel. All right. Slave driver. Ooh. Hey, Sharon, I know it's not Orioles, but we got a bunch of black belly whistling ducks. Oh! Just up the river a little ways. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a nice picture. All right, even I have to concede black bellied whistling ducks are cool. Man, look at that crazy feet. Nice so color. bright. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Turtle avalanche. That was cool. Wow, I wonder what scared him. No idea. The ducks are nonplussed. What the heck are you looking at? Yeah. Flatting scopes are for more than just birds, Sharon. Oh, crap. Check this out. One of the hackberry butterflies, I think it's Tony Emperor. I don't never remember. Depends on which spots are which on the wings. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up. Clay and his darn butterflies. Still fun, though. Sharon, western tanager right up on top of that tree. Dude, I need an Oriole, not a western tanager. Yeah, but he's gorgeous. He is, but but I have I, I have a job that I have to do. You know what? I, I'm just going to go back to the visitor center and hang out at the feeders. Just meet me there when you're done with this. Okay. All right. Have fun. Good luck. Don't scare my bird away. All right, I have to get away from that man because I seriously need Orioles and I cannot hang around all day for every little bird that he sees. Whoa. 
<laughs> Sharon's gonna go nuts. There's an orchard oriole in that tree, and she's walking the other direction. Cool. Come on, Oriole, work with me a little bit. Don't hide in that bath. Come on, come on, be a pal. Just hop, just hop out just a little bit, just a little tiny bit. That's gonna kill Sharon. I got bupkis. Oh, look at this one right over there on the feeder now. Wait, what? Oh! Yes! Get it! I nailed it! Alright, hey, way to go on getting that Oriole, uh, finally. Finally! I can't believe that bird was being such a jerk. So, yeah, I got that. Um... Hey, do you have your 65 millimeter handy? Yeah, it's in the back. Okay, I'd like to switch out my 85 millimeter objective lens, and I'd like to do a comparison between uh, the 65 millimeter and the 95 millimeter as far as digiscoping the same bird. Sure. So, okay, okay. Easily done. Yeah, yeah. I should probably use the same camera. Yep. Okay. You know, I really love the whole compact design and lightweightness of the uh, 65 millimeter. The thing I really like about it, minimum focus is seven feet. Oh. So seven feet at 60 power, you put the camera on there, you basically you have a long distance macro lens. Oh, that's... Butterflies, dragonflies, all that cool stuff. Yeah, for people who just want to film birds right outside their kitchen window. So what's the close focus on the 95 millimeter then? 95 goes down to 15 feet. Okay. What about the 85? 10. Ah, huh. okay. So 10's nice in the middle. Since it's gotten overcast, why don't we do this comparison with the iPhone 5S since it does so well in low light conditions? We got a fight going on, that's why. It's another one coming up. Alright, let me finish this up. Okay, two. Oh, there's that bird Sharon said she needed. I wonder if I could digiscope it for her. Couldn't be that hard. And of course it's in pieces. Oh. Warranty. Alright. Okay. Get the bird in the scope. Focus on the point of light. Tap to focus on the bird. And take the picture. Now I can send this to Sharon. And there we go. Oh, hey, is that your phone? Oh, you know what? Maybe it is. Let's see. Aw, it's a text from Bill. Oh, and he sent a photo. I wonder what he sent. Son of a... <laughs>